evil. I'm off. Be well, friend. Fight well. You look striking today. Can you remind me what you do here? I buy and sell all manner of items. What's more, I am connected to a wide network of other traders. Meaning I have access to nearly everything you could want. Right here. But I cannot do much of anything if I don't have a place to work. If you can build a place for me, I can get started right away. I have to go. See you soon. Don't be a stranger! Go, Sunin. I have to go. Then go in peace. Can we do a bit of training? Absolutely. Nothing more today. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Take care. That's a damn fine stable we have now. Lord, look at it. Eivor. Got a real little fishery going here. Are you the man in charge? It's my grandfather, really. 
But he says the best way to learn responsibility is by working. Besides, between you and me, I'm better at it. More of a people person, you know? I do. It's good to have you. Both of you. Be my eyes, Zunin. Your baker is done, Tavin. And our feasting table will be warmer for it. Eivor, that is... kind of you. I hope one day I can repay you. You are among friends here. There's no need. No need, but a desire. An earnest one. I remember the good things people do for me. To warm my heart in times when... when kindnesses are few and far between. There was one more thing, though, if you had a moment. A grain merchant has set up downriver. I want to bring a half dozen bags home, but I would need an extra pair of hands. I can lend a hand. That's a relief. I did not fancy asking Holger. Tarbin, what brought you to our clan? Your reputation. Heard folks say a band of hard-drinking, battle-scarred warriors had washed up on shore. Said you had settled in the center of Mercia, taking in whatever floatsome, jetsome, and jumble of misfits came to your docks. And this appealed to you? More than anything. Always been a bit of a drift. The thought of settling in a rowdy camp felt like a good balance. And being a baker, I... I did not take you for a baker when we met. You have the look of someone who swings an axe. <laughs> I do hear that a lot. But baking is your only craft, is that right? I have always enjoyed it. And I have always been good at it. But when I'm not able to find such work, I take odd jobs where I can. So long as I can work with my hands. Well, we have that in common. A question, Eivor. You're a warrior. A fighter. That much I know. But if you could stop fighting, what would you do? You ask the wrong question. I can stop fighting, but to do so would be to deny the essence of who I am. I think you mean, if I had to stop fighting, what would I become? No, you've given me the answer I wanted. It's good you found what calls you. A rare and happy thing.
<clears throat> yes, yes, I see you both. What can I? It's you. W what are you doing in Mercia? Collecting grain. Thirty silver's worth, if you can spare it. I do have the coin. Right. Well... Take what you need and get going. That should cover it. Thank you kindly. Of course. And you, uh... You take good care of yourself. Yeah? Is that your usual vendor? A little surprised to see you. Pity? Well, could be he knows somebody who looks like me. There's no shortage of big bearded men around here, yeah? I suppose not. About your question earlier, what would I do if I weren't a warrior? I would ask the same of you. Is baking bread your greatest wish? Is there something wrong with wanting to bake bread? The Romans bake bread. The Egyptians bake bread. It is a fine trade. But is it your calling? It is my calling to feed people, I'd say. To be of service to those I care for. And who care for me. That brings me joy. Put that way, it is a noble pursuit. I don't know that it's noble. It is simply what gets me up in the morning. It gives me purpose for the rest of my day. Need help with your grain? No need, no need. I'll do the rest myself. Bring it in and put it where I like. All right. It was good to speak with you, Tarpin. A welcome diversion. You too, Eivor. Thank you for your help. What is it you do here again? If you want to de I'm off. Be well, friend. Be well. Show me. I have to go. See you soon. See you later, A4. Place 
Pleasure to see you. What do you see, Sunim? Really, thank you for seeing this done. May I see your stores? easier to follow a map. Let me update your map with this. Done for now? I must take my leave. So long. Keep exploring. Be my eyes, Sunan. Honored to see you, Eivor. Oh dear, it feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You are most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams, and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. 
come. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea-salted ice. Volka! Godsepo! What brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. Ha! <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. Is that Valka I see? What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randvi, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Lead, whalebone, flax of gold. Put this one to honest work. That is what I like to see. All these people you have brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I've built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. Salve, Eivor. Ad Meliora. Good day. And who is that fellow? I have no idea. Well, the town must be bustling. You see there? Your home is just ahead. Tell me about your visions. They are as they have always been. Little has changed, save their clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. And does the old father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but... It feels mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there. Thank you. And here we are. Lovely. Just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, we can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And welcome home. Anything to help you feel at home. I am most at home helping others. May we return to the subject of your visions? We could, if you think it worth something. I need one more ingredient to finish an elixir for you. Look around the pond there. You will find what I require. Once brewed, this elixir will help you dive deeper into your visions. 
to see them more clearly. Have the plans you need good good once added to the elixir it will be ready to drink in taking this you will have access to the all father's wisdom you will walk the path of odin and live as he lived so long ago prepare yourself for a journey into another time another plane
The elixir is ready. It will taste like misery itself, but it will open your mind to the sights and sounds of the Nine Worlds. The prophecies of the Nornir are as clear as daylight. The Aesir are doomed. All Asgard is doomed. Repeat the last passage. Brothers will fight one another and kill one another. The home of the gods turns red with gore. It will be an age of storms. An age of wolves. Not this. Further along. The foretelling of a wolf great beast. The wolf Fenrir howls terribly before the gates to hell. The beast will break its bonds and run. And my part? What about me? Then comes the second great sorrow. When the Harvey goes to fight the wolf and falls to Fenrir. And falls to Fenrir. It's there, you see. You have foretold my death. Your Harvey will die. We speak what we see. We know your fate, your destiny. Have you gleaned enough, O oh wise one? Fate governs all humankind, but I am the defier of death. I am not bound by these forces. All threads are measured. Everything dies. Even ancient Ymir, whose fertile carcass gave birth to the Nine Worlds. I am no string to be plucked or tied. I am the High One, the Lord of Ecstasy, the enemy of the Wolf. I am eternal. Riddled words only cloud my thoughts. A storm is brewing. Not in the clouds, but down below. Does our final battle draw near? Is this how Ragnarok begins?
strategy to deal with these invaders, Thor. You cannot... Who is balls? We are as guardians. We don't skulk around like elves. We fight! We are fighting. For our homes, for our people. But some problems can't be solved with the hard end of a hammer. Name one. Harvey, break our stalemate. What is this? Another invasion? Warriors from Jotunheim. They attack from all fronts. While we sit on our trembling hands and scratch our bums. Not so, Thor. Many Aesir have been sent to the four corners of Asgard, leaving we four to defend the Great Hall. Havi, lend me a score of your warriors and I will lead them into Jotunheim myself. We cannot afford such a loss. The Ain Hariar must hold back to defend our city. I would bring them here, to hold the Great Hall itself. This invasion is too large to spread ourselves around. All this prattle solves nothing. Battle or death! Silence, all of you. We will take the fight to the enemy before they cross the Bifrost. Well said, Ravenfeeder. Name those who may fight beside you. I need only one. You, Thor, Lord of Thunder. Together we'll cripple the enemy before they grow too bold. Rouse every warrior who can hold axe or hammer. We're hunting Jotnar heads! The rest of you, stay back to protect the Great Hall. Were any creatures among the Jotnar? Drago, trolls, or wolves? What troubles you, Havi? Does your far sight tell you something? More invaders! They gather at the Bifrost Bridge! Where's Loki? He should be guarding that door! Warn the others. The fight begins. The battle you died to attain! For Heavy and for Asgard! With me, the rest of you guard the great hall. Sure. With me, I gift this battle to myself. Gunda! Oh! <laughs> 
Astonished the throw of invaders. What's that? You gotta go papers either, Jotun. Wait, no, you, you're mistaken. I am no Jotun. I was only passing through from one land to another. Would your song be the same if it were? Harvey. I found this one lurking in the shade, shying from battle. Shall I extract some teeth to get him talking? Or pluck out an eye? You were told to guard this portal, Loki. What happened? The portal opened, and these soldiers came bleeding through. So I sent warning straight away. And I captured this one, the soggy, jowled sheep herder. <laughs> what is your name, stranger? I am called the Builder, by most. He wants your name, not your trade. If I have another name, it's not within my memory. Builder it's been for as long as I've been... building things. And what can you build that would impress me? I work with stone, wood, metals, whatever is at hand. And I finish by infusing my work with subtle charms and wishes. Did the Jotnar benefit from these charms and wishes? Oh, for a time, for a time. But you and I both know the Jotnar are a dull and desperate race. Harvey, when someone gifts you a horse, you ride it. I put a bridle on this one. Is that right, Builder? Are you a gift horse? Or a secret curse? Neither, I won. I am only a tool. One with hopes to be well used. This portal has been a source of misery for some time. I want it sealed. With respect, this is not the only way the Jotnar can enter Asgard. May I propose a more encompassing solution? Quite a coincidence that you came when you did, at the tail end of a brutal attack. That I came when I did was by design. 
I have been among your enemies for so long, I know how they hunger for your demise. If you doubt me, I could offer a demonstration. A demonstration, yes. And if he fails to impress, we hoist his skin as a sail. I'll accept these terms, with the last condition. I would need water from your well of Urth. What do you know of our sacred well? It's a place of great power and vital magic, a source of spirit. It's the water there that will power your shield. I'll collect the water, Harvey. Keep this one clear of our sacred sites. Loki, halt. I will go to the well. You must find this builder clearing for his display. No, no, it's no trouble, Harvey. The damp and the dark appeal to me. Go with the Builder, then return to the Great Hall with news of our next step. As you command. An interesting offer. A curious coincidence. Yes. The fog cleared suddenly. I can speak of what I've seen, but I felt pulled away. Say nothing of it now. Return to this another time. I will, when I'm ready.